Today I'm super excited to show you how you can draw an artwork using already existing images. Alright, so I've imported a couple of images into Procreate. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to arrange them in a collage so that we can use them as a reference. It's a fun way to experiment if you want to make your own art out of already existing images. Okay, so I'm merging the two image layers by pinching them. And then I'm going to go ahead and adjust the opacity of the layer to about 60%. Now it's time to start sketching an outline. I'm tracking the image contours with a pencil brush from the Procreate library. I'm using the Narender pencil, but you can of course use any pencil that you like. Now it's time for the stripes and markings of the cat. You just need to do a rough sketch of the markings, since we're going to adjust this later on. It's always a good idea to hide the image layer once in a while so that you can see where the sketch is headed and that you haven't forgotten anything. Okay, so here's the sketch layer once I'm finished with the rough sketch. Alright, so now I'm going to show you a trick that you can use if you want to create an easier to access color palette for your drawing. Turn the opacity up to around 80 and then I'm using the eyedropper tool to create a color palette from the image. Just tap and hold and the color will appear. Just make sure that you have the color palette on a separate layer. You can also jot down some notes on the color palette to make sure that you know what the colors represent. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and create a new layer and start coloring your drawing. Use the eyedropper tool and pick either from the image or from your color palette. A rough painting will do and you can experiment with the different colors that are represented in the image. Hide the image layer once in a while so that you can clearly see your sketch and make sure that you haven't missed anything. A good tip is to hide the background so that you can clearly see your coloring. And you can also easily spot what you've missed. Okay, so here's the sketch with the first layer finished. Now we're going to add another layer and start painting to fill out the gaps from the first layer. and you will get a nice and smooth coloring of your drawing. And here's how the drawing looks so far. Use the eyedropper tool to create the second layer as well. And if you want, you can also fill out entire sections with one color.
Now we're going to go ahead and use the smudge tool to smoothen the colors a bit. Work your way through the entire drawing. You can choose the type of brush you want to use for the smudge tool as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same brush. If you want you can change the opacity so that the smudge effect won't be so hard on the drawing. Now it's time for the final touch. And with this brown color I'm trying to make the fence look more wooden like. Refine the drawing until you're completely satisfied with the result. And here's the end result. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy this type of tutorial, consider subscribing and leave a comment down below. See you next time.